Well, congratulations, first and foremost. Ah, so gorgeous. <laughs> I want to go to Okinawa. I want to yeah. train karate. karate. Uh, so he... Oh, to train for karate? That's so funny. That's yeah, amazing. because karate is from there, right? Like in, yeah, yeah. In, uh, in Okinawa. So I reached out to this school in Poland, actually. It's called okinawakarate.pl, like the, they have a website. And I spoke with the, the, the sensei, the, the main guy who is like nine, nine den, and you have ten, uh, ten den, dan, sorry, dan. You know more about this than me. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so black, black, like very black, <laughs> very black, black belt. And he connected me with a school in, in Okinawa, uh, so I started speaking with them and luckily they spoke English, one of them at least, uh, Kohei San. And like I, I got to train there. <laughs> they they really take it seriously. So you can like even the, the movement, like you don't see the hand, you don't see anything because it's so fast. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Wait, but so what did what did he say? So we went to Daruma Temple because I really like like we talked about it, right? It's really like beautiful. And this, yeah. this temple had lots of those darumas, um, and it was uh, in Okinawa, beautiful nature. So we go there and we buy the daruma. Uh, I don't, I forgot the name of like the, you hang those um, wooden. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called uh, ema. It okay. means picture horses. Wood plaques common to Japan in which Shinto and Buddhist worshippers write p- prayers or wishes. Oh, maybe it's omamori. No, it's not omamori. Oh, omamori, that's um, omamori is like what you keep um for uh-huh. yourself. Uh huh. Um, to make sure that like whether it's a fertility one or a relationship uh-huh. one or a love one, uh huh, or whatever it is, like you keep it to keep it by your side for the year, and then uh-huh. in the following year you get a new one. That's your omamori. It means pr- to protect. Okay. Oh, nice. So it's more or less like like Daruma, right? Like you get it for a year. You yeah, make a wish. everything is about luck yes. and wishes and manifesting. Yeah, but it works, right? Like you have to like you have to direct your thoughts and and work towards it. So okay, go, going back to the going story, back. we yeah. we are in this Daruma temple and we um and we get this Emma eh. Yeah, Emma. Yeah, yeah. And um, I start writing, uh, and I ask, "What should we write about? Like, uh, you know, success in business, happy, uh, like, uh, happy family and uh, kids and all the kind of things." And, and he says, "Like, also, and write. Don't forget to write uh, happy marriage." <laughs> and uh, as I write it, he's like, "Boom!" <laughs> Wow! Did he say something? <laughs> like I wasn't, I was writing. I wasn't like looking. Like, look, will you marry me? Like, okay. No, I said hi, hi. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Funny, yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. again. Thank you, thank you. Yay. So, what's new with you? I'm going to Japan for three weeks now. I'm like so excited because I just want to like. I mean, you know, because you're, you know, you've lived in different places, but yeah. like one. When you go home, like yeah. you don't want to worry about doing anything other than just doing what you used to do. Just, yeah. just like basic things. Like I just want to go and hang out with my friends and go to that shop I used to go to and just walk around. And there is this concept of the onnabu geisha. There's another word for it. They're called onnamusha. It's a term re- referring to female warriors in pre-modern Japan. Oh. Um, they they fought. It's basically like the Mulan of Japan. Like they fought battle side alongside um, men. Yeah. Um, but there there is this whole like growing up. You know, I'm I'm the I'm a, a child of the '80s, uh-huh. late '80s, and it's like w- women were not really supposed to be as they called the the in jazz in the jazz world women were supposed to be the contrabass mm-hmm. they were supposed to be seen but not heard there was this samurai and maybe not many of them but then the the, the whole society basically shut down women You're right. right but now there is this um demographic of japan is like this upside down triangle where there's a huge population of elder elderly people mm-hmm. and not enough 
young people because yeah. no, no one is making babies. Yeah. And a part of that is the is because women are now getting stronger in the workforce. Yeah. Um, they want more responsibilities. They don't want to be a housewife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and so they don't want to make babies. And on the other hand, I, and I watched this on BBC News, there's a lot of men, Vice, Vice Media rep- reports on this, and uh, BBC News mm-hmm. has a documentary called No Sex, Please, We're mm-hmm. Japanese. Mm-hmm. And they talk about these herbivore men. Yes, I heard about Not the it. carnivore men. There's yeah. a lot of herbivore men who yeah. um, sort of are more interested in the concept of digital mm-hmm. anime girlfriends or rented girlfriends, mm-hmm. uh, which is very Unusual. subject for women. And I yes. totally don't appreciate it. But, but, but the, the point is, are Japanese women samurais, the mm-hmm. onnabu geisha, um, and the onnamusha, mm-hmm. are they back? They're fighting back for that. Like mm-hmm. we want to stand with these what these male, um, the males in the workforce. Uh-huh. You know, we want to be heard. Mm-hmm. Um, from what I've read, it's not being seen. Um, but if you can like dig, dig deeper in the history, like you can find information about the existence of those on the bugacious, right? And from what I read, they were fighting along men. So they had, um, they also were very respected and, and they like, wrote history. Uh, but Hollywood, like you won't see any movie about it, right? You see the last summarize and all the uh, blockbusters, but there is no mention about on the bugacious. And, and that's sad because they were kick-ass. They were kick-ass. They were badass. Um, no, you're right. And it, it wasn't like the Mulan where, you know, Mulan pretended like she was a man, mm-hmm. you know, dressed like a man, cut her hair like a man to be part of this, uh, the warrior society or these onna bugeisha, I believe, you know, and I'm not a hi- um, historian, but mm-hmm. they, they were dressed as a woman, looked mm-hmm. like a woman and fought along the men, which is amazing. And, yeah. you know, you and I are in the corporate world. There is always this, the stigma against our women, you know, t- being treated fairly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What yeah. are the gender norms in mm-hmm. our companies? Are we being fair and yeah. inclusive of women? Yeah. And, but the, also the sad thing is that once like, I don't know if you saw this as well, but once a, a woman reaches like senior, like leadership position, um, oftentimes they become hostile to other women and they yeah, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. pull the rest. Yeah, that's, uh, and um, I just, I was speaking to somebody who's been doing HR for a long time and she unfortunately had to let go of this very sorry my dogs one second no right maybe they want to say something as well maybe you have something to i know they're like i know about it. Well, like, you know she, she essentially had to let go of this um colleague of hers who you know who was probably in the vp level mm-hmm. uh, but she her way of dominating her position and mm-hmm. her authority and her her status was like being mean, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. but again, I don't, but then again, it's like, well, but the, do the, do the men do that? Probably, mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, but yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this, but sometimes maybe there is a, uh, there is a sense of like needing to be more the, the, yeah. Or is being powerful being the, the the idea of being powerful is kind of lost yes my company just promoted two women and they were recognizing these two women and my husband's company too like promoted a lot of women in the workforce and mm-hmm. so i i feel good about it especially on international women's day when mm-hmm. 
when we see that women are coming to power and I don't want to say we should fight like a man. No. <laughs> um, I think we have other qualities and some, oftentimes we, we like it's advantage to be a woman, right? Like for yeah. example, in business development, like what I, what I do, it's easier for me to start conversation. <laughs> like Then I bring yeah. the guys along and, and then we close the deal. But I feel at least in tech, I feel this is very democratic and very, very meritocratic. Very if you have something to like some value to give the workforce or like the market will re reward you no matter if you're a male or female or the dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No matter where, where you are, you should be credited as a, as a human being fight for what you're worth rather than fight like a man. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but it will be nice to have role models, have all the female colleagues who support you as well. But also it's, it's not to say that I didn't have a manager in the past who was a man mm -hmm. who fought for me. Yeah. If there is like this mutual respect yeah, and like the idea of gen being gender aware or like conscious, whether you're a uh, non-binary or, or, mm -hmm. or, or you identify as a woman, you know, it's just the inclusivity of it all. But yeah. at the end of the day, we are talking about, you know, women's day, international women's day. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking to women who I identify as if there is a man, a, a male who is, you know, supportive of you, that that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, but to be able to work with people who recognize you know, you as a woman is, is so important. So yeah, I, I, I like that there is this, this day and it yeah. should always be this day. Yeah. Right. Every day. <laughs> every day should be this day. Like yeah. every day should be my birthday. No, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> my mother, although I, I never really lived with her for a long time, her and my father had a divorce when I was six. Mm -hmm. As much as I didn't have a re really strong relationship with her in my childhood, yeah. um, she is my warrior in a sense because she grew up dancing ballet and she, mm -hmm. my mother is Chinese. I'm part Chinese, yeah, Japanese, okay, and she grew up in a very militaristic Chinese ballet school um, in the time of um, the um, communist, not mm -hmm. communist revolution per se, but in the time when China was incredibly communist or whatever. Yeah. She got married. She had me and it was like, she got injured, but she, she decided I'm not going to give away my career or throw away my career. She decided what can I do for myself so mm -hmm. I can keep doing what I love. And so she got a um, teacher certificate as well mm -hmm. as an adjudicator certificate for ballet in mm -hmm. Winnipeg, where there was um, an incredibly high status um, uh, Royal Ballet School um, who was giving out these certificates, right? Um, oh because my mother didn't have a school education um, mm -hmm. other than ballet. Mm -hmm. So she, she kind of moved there when I was young um, and she's still doing ballet, teaching ballet, judging mm -hmm. ballet to this day. She followed her dreams. She stuck to what she loves and mm -hmm. she didn't take no for an answer. She just mm -hmm. went and is doing what she loves and much respect to her. Uh, but do you have somebody in your life who is sort of like a female figure? Like Role Email. model figure, yeah, like not one. Like I like different things in different women. I also, as much as I, I like to fight, not fight, but like disagree with my mom. <laughs> I love her, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I appreciate what she has done, and I think I told you, uh, like in my case, my father uh, left us when um, I was three months old. So they were together oh, yeah. with my mom for two, two, two years and, um, you know, because she became pregnant with me. And then after three months, when I was born, he told my mom, he gave her nice choice of giving me to the orphanage house or him leaving. So my mom decided to like send him oh, away. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So he never supported us, you know, financially, you know, never even reached out to me. I tried to reach out. So I sent some letters and no response. I guess it helped me because it made me at some like unconsci unconsciously I was striving to to do so many things and like mm -hmm. become maybe more 
uh, visible in business to, to prove myself, right? Like just to maybe unconsciously uh, show to my father, like, look at look what you've lost. Uh, but at the same time, my mom gave me all the love and all the support from both parents. Like I, I never felt like I'm, I was uh, missing anything, right? Like, yeah, I, I guess like that's how I grew to be to to love to also to to appreciate other people and 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 create like a healthy relationship because i had this love right like you don't yeah. like you have these are the warriors right like the 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 life life makes yeah yeah people. yeah she can she chose motherhood and she chose, but she she's she's been always actually working like your mom like oh, your mom you. Um, in um, school, one school, like she had one job, wow. and she she she's just right yeah. now retired. One job, yep, that's great. One job mm-hmm. until um, until retirement. Uh, she was um, a Polish teacher, like a literature literature teacher, um, and she loved her job. She was she was doing both. She was a mother, and she was fulfilling her mission <laughs> to 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 teach. I didn't understand it for a long time, but like right now, I I, I think she is a badass as well. <laughs> I won't tell her that. Yeah, <laughs> I won't tell her that. I will tell her like, mom, don't yeah. talk to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think I, I want whoever, you know, watches this episode yeah. to really think about, can we look back into our lives and see who can we be inspired by? What are Who are the women in our lives who have really helped us? Yeah. Uh, maybe to change our lives or to inspire us mm-hmm. or to make today a little bit better than yesterday. Exactly. There are so many, and you know, I'm not just talking about my mother is one, of course, but there are other women in my life who have been a mother to me because my mother was gone. Mm-hmm. My mother chose her career, mm-hmm. although we are reunited now and we're fine, but there have been, there is a, one woman in my life, a, a lady in my life who um, I call you know, I call her like my, my mother and she's, Mm -hmm. she's been, she's the one who saved me, you know? Mm -hmm. So who, who saved you, who, you know, loved you for who you are and inspired, yeah, inspired you, I guess. 